Hello friends, today we'll learn about parasites. Oh, you have an assignment about parasites? Don't worry, let me make it easier for you. Parasites exist around the world and can affect anyone of any gender, race, or socioeconomic status. A parasite is an organism, or a living thing, that lives on or inside another organism. It depends on the other organism for food and other things that it needs to survive. The parasite's victim is called its host. The host is generally much larger than the parasite. There are three main types of parasites. Let's learn about these one by one. Protozoa. These are typically microscopic, single-celled organisms. Protozoa love moisture, so infection of intestine and other diseases they cause are commonly spread through stagnant or infected water and other drinks. Some examples of protozoa, paramecia, amoebas, and the malaria-causing plasmodium. Helminths. Helminths are large macroparasites and adults can be seen with the bare eye. The most common infection is through ingestion of contaminated veggies, infected water and beverages, and raw or undercooked meat. Examples of helminths include pinworm, roundworm, tapeworm, and flukes. Ectoparasites. It is a parasite that lives externally on other animals and humans. They can cause anemia and weight loss, which can even be fatal sometimes. Examples include lice, scabies, and fleas. Be careful, buddy. This water looks dirty and may contain parasites. Let me tell you how parasites usually spread. Parasites can be spread from one host to another through the food, air, or contaminated water. Some parasites rely on a third organism to spread. Plasmodium parasites are spread through the bites of female Anopheles mosquitoes. Some other parasites pass through more than one host. For example, the roundworms can cause the disease trichinosis. Pigs are their first host, and the humans that eat the meat of the infected pigs are their second host. Let's have a look at the most common symptoms of parasite infection. If someone has unexplained constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating, nausea, etc., if someone grinds teeth in sleep, skin irritations or unexplained rashes, rosacea, hives, and eczema, painful aching joints or muscles, fatigue, mood changes, depression, or frequent feelings of apathy, iron deficiency or anemia. To prevent the parasitic worms, regularly wash your hands with water and soap before and after using the toilet and also before preparing or eating food. You should practice food safety, try to avoid raw fish and meat, prefer to eat fresh home-cooked meals. Always keep your place and surroundings clean. Threadworm eggs can survive on surfaces for up to two weeks. Most parasitic infections can be prevented and usually they are treatable. Always visit and consult the doctor in case of any health issues. Your doctor will prescribe medicines that destroy parasites. Now, you know a lot about parasites. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.